Hi everyone. In the last week or so, Eagle Dynamics released a development update for the CH47 Chinook as part of their regular newsletter. This is a brief overview of the updates and some of my observations. So, to the newsletter then. We are refining both flight systems and overall immersion for the DCS CH47F. Below are some of the key developments currently in the works. So first of all, low speed regime modes for DAFX. We are introducing refined low speed control logic for the digital automatic flight control system DAFX, including transitional, transitional rate command and position hold. These features aim to enhance control authority and stability when operating in tight confines or during hover transitions. So I've mentioned this a few times over the last few months and once we have the full DAFX capability, I, I think certainly it's going to feel like a completely different aircraft from the one that we started off with. Yes, you know, we have had some updates recently to trim and things like that, but the fidelity that uh, you know you realize when we we finally get the the full sort of access to the full capabilities of, of dafix will certainly I, I feel give us a far more enjoyable and productive experience whether you're flying solo doing a campaign or multiplayer or something like that yeah so things like tight spots in poor conditions yeah yeah shouldn't shouldn't be any any kind of bother it then goes on to say, more accurate damage model. So ongoing improvements to the damage model will better reflect real world vulnerabilities and structural limitations of the CH-47F, adding an extra layer of realism to combat and challenging operational scenarios. Now, this is an interesting one for me as I've seen Chinooks in various states of repair through either taking the extremes of an RPG and still flying, to crews accidentally knocking off things like undercarriage legs, antenna, flur turrets, all, all sorts of damage, you know, whether it's, yeah, some something where people have been uh, shooting stuff at it or, you know, the crew have take, uh, taken uh, evasive actions or, you know, even on the ground, somebody's accidentally come a driven a vehicle into it on or, or something like that so the Chinook you know it's an incredibly hardy aircraft and it is, as you may realize it will take a heck of a beating and keep on flying right so f for us as as pilots it's going to give us a more immersive experience and so not not just for how things look right so especially you know did, did uh, I suppose it depends on on you know whether you're flying online or stuff like that whether you can actually actually see what's going on on the outside of the aircraft but I, i'm thinking kind of more of the immersive actually kind of flying the aircraft and losing systems and you know we have this with some of the modules that have been in dcs for a, a, a long time now right so for example you know you're losing one of the generators because it's taken some rounds through it and okay there are automatic systems to flick it across but yeah you know what if you lost both what if you have to start the apu what if you've got leaks and you have to start turning things off isolating systems switching on standby systems and and things like that yeah so that that that'll be good to see if you know we're getting uh, both both sides of it right and then it goes on to say CDU and MFD enhancements, continuous upgrades to the cockpit display unit, so CDU, and multifunction displays, MFDs, will provide more accurate data presentation and system interactions. A proper standby flight display is also slated for a future update. So again, this will slowly but surely improve the experience and enable us to use all of the, the features uh, or all the you know, interact with systems as intended. You'd have thought that the the SFD would be relatively simple thing to do, considering you know they they've got all the information available, and 
you know they've pr pretty much got the you know models available and things like that but 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 there you go you know they've got to prioritize cer certain things over over other, other things i guess they then um move on to talking about advanced rope physics right and especially for us you know fl flying sh chinook this um yeah yeah this this is something that we've been waiting <laughs> a long while for right so he goes on to say we're working on a uh, on a new rope physics model that offers improved behavior supporting multiple ropes simultaneously this will significantly enhance sling loading operations and troop insertion extraction scenarios so i think they've actually kind of put a couple of things together here but yeah in in you know my hooking video i did speculate about this after all being able to use all three hooks is what Shinnok is is all about um, however you know i can see that uh this can, can be challenging as you you know you're not going to just just simply take the center hook graphics and every, everything how it interacts and and just press you know paste and and then cop, uh, sorry cop, copy and then like paste twice and, and and off you go right it's it's obviously not as simple as that for it to work correctly um each yeah each each of the the hooks essentially the slings coming off of them they they need to yes obviously interact with each other the cargo that they're attached to but also the aircraft and they need to in uh, interact uh, kind of or, or work should i say independently and also how it affects the whole of the aircraft in terms of you know it is the aircraft is obviously picking something up so it's going to affect the aircraft in terms of the performance center of gravity all, all that kind of stuff the uh, second line this is why i'm kind of thinking it's almost, it's almost like the bunch two things together so it sort of su suggests the uh, uh, troop in, in, in insertion the way i'm thinking about this is is pretty much what they they had in the initial video right where they saw kind of troops walking onto the aircraft and walking away from the aircraft and and yes yeah for that immersion this is this is what we want we we kind of don't want to you know just say oh yeah we've loaded a load of uh, like a bunch of troops look in the back there's there's nothing there and then land on press a button and then all, all of a sudden these troops kind of appear in very kind of static poses next to the aircraft and, and kind of go off and do their stuff right um we uh yeah you want to be able to land on and for them because you see it in plenty of plenty of other games right and and be able to load onto the aircraft take 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 their seat or whatever and and then yeah do do the reverse when you kind of land on or whatever so yes again for the immersion side of things um yeah uh that's uh yeah that, that'd be good and then finally it talks about new skins says you may expect a variety of new liveries in an upcoming DCS update. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what these are. There's there's obviously some great user created skins that are already out there. You've probably seen in in hopefully in some of my previous kind of videos. The um, for example, the 27 Squadron skin and the, the uh, Swedish Air Force skin and things like that. I've seen loads of different ones out there. I don't actually know which ones they've they've got lined up uh, if anyone does it'd be good to kind of share it but uh yeah but overall it's um it's good to see that um you know progress uh, th th they are c continuing should i say say with um chinook uh, and the, there's you know there's there's a road map as such the other thing I'll say finally is that if you've not looked at the actual module page itself, it does seem like it's been updated. Admittedly, I've not looked at it for, for kind of quite a while, but it does seem like it's it has a lot more information on it. And you can see kind of clearly now what's what we've currently got available and what's on the horizon as well. OK, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.